Hello everyone, my name is Sean. I am the Crypto Smith. I do appreciate you stopping back in for an XRP update video. What is going on in the market today? XRP is up 30% today. Crazy. It almost reached 50 cents. It was real close. Uh, you know, we always knew 50 cent is a good resistance uh, spot for XRP. Uh, whenever the price goes up, we bounced off it once before. The last time we were in this neighborhood was the beginning of November 2022. So a few months ago, right? It's been a while. We've just been bouncing around, you know, in purgatory here, uh, you know, 30 cent to 40 cent range. But what happened today, right? What's the news? I didn't catch any big news. Now you would think either this is from the Ripple v. SEC case, right? Maybe there's some good news coming out. Maybe some insiders uh, know something that the rest of us don't know, and they're picking up a ton uh, of XRP. Uh, and if we go over and we look at the uh, volume here on CoinMarketCap, volume is up 4x, four times what it was just yesterday. So somebody knows something out there. Now, there are rumors it could be it could be Ripple versus SEC, and there's something coming down the pike, but we don't we don't know about it. Only the people up at the very top echelon, uh, you know, the very important peoples, they get to know this kind of stuff first. So I'm going to go into a little bit of that and then a little bit of the other idea, which is Corium. Now, Corium uh, is going to uh, do a snapshot in a couple of days, basically Friday. So it's the 24th right here, snapshot March 24th. Uh, if we go over here and look at it, Corium... Because uh, it's related to the XRP blockchain. Uh, if you're a holder of Corium, if you're a holder of Solo or XRP, there's going to be a snapshot on Friday. Uh, I believe it's 4 a.m. UTC. Uh, and then they're going to airdrop. Uh, it looks like next month, I think, will come down here uh, May 15th. So in you know two and a half or a month and a half. And you can kind of see here, I'm not going to go over this airdrop. I'm not a big guy into airdrops. I don't really care. Uh, you know, you're going to get an airdrop to token and then everybody is immediately going to sell it because it's free money. And if you don't sell yours uh, first, then you're just going to lose out. So it's, you know, it's no, it's no fun for me uh, to get into airdrops. It doesn't really make a big deal. Uh, I don't care. It's free money. Sure. It's probably not a lot of money, but, uh, but free is, is good anyway. Uh, but that's the, the Corium uh, snapshot. So the thought is that people are out here snapping up all of this XRP and Sologenic, by the way, because if we go look at the chart uh, for Solo, uh, it's up fairly decently as well. Uh, but Corium is down. Uh, Corium is not doing too well over the last uh, day. Uh, so that doesn't really explain a lot. And I don't know how to explain that other than this may not be it. I don't think there's that many people that went out and uh, created a $4 billion uh, volume day uh, because they want to buy XRP for this Corium uh, snapshot coming on Friday. So I, I just, I don't believe that's it. I mean, it could be. I just don't think that enough people are out there that really care about that, that are going to create that kind of a volume uh, in order to get in, uh, to get a token that's going to immediately uh, plummet in value <laughs> the second you get it because people are going to sell it. Uh, if you hold Corium and you get this airdrop, Right? You're not even going to get part of your uh, Corium airdrop until the 1st of April. And then as they do it in stages, 25% uh, at a time, all the way out to the 1st of November, uh, at the end of this year, basically. Uh, so that's the airdrop theory. Now, let me know, do you guys think this is it? You think there's enough people out there that created $4 billion worth of volume today and increased our uh, the XRP price 30% because of the Corium snapshot? Right. If you think that, let me know in the comments down below uh, what's your take on this. The other thought is obviously the Ripple versus SEC case. So yesterday, the attorneys for Ripple uh, filed a, right here it says, uh, letter notice of supplemental authority in further support of their fair notice defense to the judge in the SEC case. Uh, and Jeremy Hogan kind of explains it here. He does a very good job. If you don't know who Jeremy Hogan is, go watch his uh, YouTube videos. He breaks down the case very well. He's got a lot of videos over the last, uh, you know, one plus year in in following this and gives a lot of great information. But this is what he says. So Ripple finally filed the Voyager or the Voyage bankruptcy judge's decision. Uh, the judge uses abnormally strong language stating that in the U.S. regulators themselves cannot even agree on what criteria to use in deciding whether crypto is a security or not. Right? Fair notice. What does fair notice mean? Fair notice means 
you know, this regulator or there are some very clear rules of the road out there that any normal person uh, would be able to tell whether something is a commodity or a security. Uh, so they call it the fair notice defense because you can go before the judge and say, hey, they never told me what I was doing was wrong, right? I, there's no way for me to look up uh, because there's no real rules that apply to crypto. And I can't apply what is a security and what is a commodity in crypto to a law that was written 60, 70 years ago. So there's some wiggle room there in legal theory. I'm not an attorney, so I don't know all the you know legal mumbo jumbo. But this is what the judge stated in his decision. Uh, says, second, just as defendants have highlighted in connection with their fair notice defense, uh, Judge Wiles found that cryptocurrency market participants operate in a regulatory environment that at best can be described as highly uncertain, right? That doesn't sound good for the SEC, uh, in which regulators themselves cannot seem to agree as to whether cryptocurrencies are commodities that may be subject to regulation by the CFTC or whether they are securities that are subject to securities laws or neither or even on what criteria should be applied in making the decision. An uncertainty that has persisted despite the fact that cryptocurrency exchanges have been around for a number of years. Right. So this is what the judge said in the Voyage bankruptcy case, uh, which was also not good for the SEC in that case. So now they've uh, Ripple's attorneys have decided to use that decision, right? because you can use another judge's decision uh, as evidenced uh, in your ongoing case, right? The judge in this case has not made any final decisions. Uh, so there's still some room to allow new information to come in. So the judge is going to read this and you hopefully, right? We hope uh, she is going to use her best judgment and which might agree with our best judgment, but probably not because I'm not as smart as the judges. Uh, and I don't know all the applicable laws and all the things that need to be applied to this, uh, but it does look good for XRP and Ripple. If there's no regulatory clarity, right, which you've heard this term bandied about for the last two years, no regulatory clarity out there, uh, and where the SEC states it is very, very clear, everybody should know what the rules are, uh, but they don't, right? Ripple went in and met with the SEC numerous times uh, while they were building their company, uh, asking, you know, just to make sure, hey, we want to make sure we're doing the right thing. We want to make sure we are uh, with the law, not against the law. Uh, and the SEC never told them anything, never said, hey, it looks like you guys might be a security. I don't know, uh, nothing. So they get to go before a judge and say, hey, they never told us what we were doing was wrong. There's no way to go look up, you know, what we were doing was wrong or was a security or commodity or, or, or whatever. So and the judge agrees with this, which is really nice to see. Uh, so that's good news. So maybe this has something to do with the fact that we were up 40 or 30 percent today. I'm not sure, but I like the fact that we're up. It's really good to see. Now, the reason we are, you know, uh, see this 30% increase today, uh, you know, whatever that reason might be, uh, it doesn't really matter in the long run, right? What matters is, are we going to sustain this, right? If this is the Corium airdrop situation where everybody's thinking they're going to pile into XRP so they can catch that snapshot, right? We And that snapshot's on Friday, so we at least have the opportunity to see this rally for the next couple of days. And then you would assume after Friday, people are going to sell because the market's up, right? And you're going to take profits if you're, you know, a trader or an, <clears throat> an investor who does like to play uh, with their trades. You're going to sell and take some profit off the table, uh, lock it away in your wallet uh, and move on and then wait until the Corium airdrop and then get those, and then, of course, immediately sell, because if you don't, you're going to get left behind, and your Corium's going to be worth a lot, lot less. So again, leave me a comment. Are you going to sell some XRP and take profits now? It's up 30%, or it's a little less than 30% now, but it was up 30% earlier. It may be up even more tomorrow or Thursday. What are you going to do about it? Are you going to take profits off the table, or are you just going to sit thinking this thing is going to ride to 10 bucks, uh, and we're not stopping until we get there? Right. Me, I'm more of a long term holder. I don't, you know, take my XRP and trade on it. You know, I put it in a wallet. It's in my ledger. It sits there. Probably not going to touch it until XRP hits, you know, ten dollars and then I'll take some profit there. That's kind of where I'm at. Let me know where you're at. Hopefully you like this video and you want to see more like it. If you do, give me a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate that. It does help the channel grow. It's the whole reason I'm here. And I'm wishing you better XRP days in the future. Have a great night.